What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another New York Giants video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the addition of DeAndre Smith as the New York Giants running backs coach. Before I dive into him and more about the Giants, give us a follow on all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Big Blue Avenue. Appreciate all the support you guys give us as always. And now I'm going to dive a little bit into Smith and what he brings to the table. Obviously, the Giants needed a running backs coach after Burton Burns retired. He was with the team for two seasons. And the Giants, they originally wanted to go out and get Dylan McCullough, but he ended up staying with Notre Dame, who was hired by their new head coach, Marcus Freeman, earlier this month. So the Giants struck out on him. Next best option was DeAndre Smith. He was previously Texas Tech's running back coach for the last three seasons, and he's been an assistant at the college football level since 1999. So this will be his first time ever on an NFL staff. So he lacks experience at the NFL level. So hopefully the college football experience can translate into NFL success. Last year, Texas Tech went 7-6. and six. They ranked 7th in the Big 12. But that's not really the story behind DeAndre Smith and what he was able to do with the Red Raiders. Um, so obviously I mentioned Burns retired. McCullough declined. So DeAndre Smith. 22 years of experience as a running backs coach. In 2021, the Texas Tech Red Raiders led the Big 12 with 32 rushing touchdowns. Now we're talking about schools like, like Oklahoma, Texas, West Virginia. Ten of those 32 rushing touchdowns came from running back Sir Roderick Thompson, a player who averaged over four and a half yards per carry. And Smith mentored Thompson – Back in 2019-2020, into he developed him into one of the conference's best backs. Uh, Thompson ended up totaling over 1,300 yards and 20 touchdowns on the ground during that span. And another running back Smith has helped develop is Taj Brooks. In 2021, Red Raiders running back Taj Brooks averaged 6.5 yards per carry and 7 rushing touchdowns. Also, his son plays for Texas Tech as well. Backup quarterback Donovan Smith also has three rushing touchdowns, so a dual threat quarterback in Donovan Smith, uh, DeAndre's son. Now, he's 53 years old. He's also coached at several other schools at different conferences, and I'll go over those now. Before going to Texas Tech in 2019, he was previously the running backs coach with Utah State in 2018. He coached in the ACC for a little bit, UNC in 2017, coached Big Ten with Purdue in 2016, Syracuse from 2013 to 2015, New Mexico in 2008 and 2012, Illinois from 2010 to 2011, and UNLV in 2009, along with Miami, Ohio from 2005 to 2007, along with Northern Illinois. And I'm just rambling off schools. He's coached for like 10 different schools in his 22, 23 years as a running backs coach. Uh, I believe he was also a special teams assistant for Northern Illinois. That's where he got his start. And then he found his knack as a running backs coach. And um, before that, I believe he was an offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach at Indiana State. So before you know, 2001, where he started getting his, you know, first real college looks. Now, this guy, I think, could help develop the current running backs on the Giants roster. Currently, the Giants have Saquon Barkley, who is on his fifth-year option, and this will be his third running backs coach as a New York Giant. Devontae Booker, another running back, one year left on his deal. Previous GM Dave Gettleman signed him to a two-year, $6 million deal on the first day of free agency in 2021, Gary Brightwell was drafted in the sixth round last year out of Arizona. He was a rookie who played primarily on special teams. Other running backs, Elijah Penny, who we originally brought in as a fullback, but he's taken on a lot of carries over the last year or two, especially late in games when the Giants haven't been doing so hot. And then Joe Shane signed former Buffalo Bill Antonio Williams to a reserve futures deal. And then the other running back the Giants have on their roster is Sandro Platzgummer, who spent two years on the Giants practice squad as an international gateway player. 
So with those six names I just mentioned, I'm not so sure how many of them are going to stick around in 2022. We know Barkley's going to stick around, and we know Antonio Williams will likely stick around as well, at least throughout training camp, since he was signed to a future deal by Shane coming over from Buffalo. I think what's really important to Saquon Barkley's success in year number five with the Giants and in the NFL is the relationship he has with his coaches, in addition to the men blocking up front for him in the offensive line. I think DeAndre Smith is really good at teaching running backs how to cut. There was a video of him in the film room in Texas Tech going over things with his running backs and Brooks and Thompson. So I think this is a guy that could help Saquon Barkley develop into the running back we all want him to be. And we know the amount of talent Saquon has. When healthy, Saquon is a top three to five running back in this league, hands down. And that's what we want Saquon to be. In fact, his rookie year, he was regarded as the best running back in the National Football League. Unfortunately, his second year, he took a step back. And in his third year, he tore his ACL in game number two. So with DeAndre Smith coming in, Again, there's a lot of unknowns about this guy. This isn't a home run hire, for instance, like when the Giants went out and got Andre Patterson yesterday as their new defensive line coach. Or you could say Andy Bischoff at tight ends because he's had a lot of success. Or Wink Martindale at defensive coordinator. DeAndre Smith is not one of those types of hires. This was obviously a plan B hire. But I still think that he's an unknown in the NFL and he has a lot of room for growth and opportunity. This guy played professionally for the Calgary Stampeders of the CFL. He also played in France. So he has experience playing the game collegiately and professionally. So I think it's going to be interesting to see what DeAndre Smith brings to the table as the new New York Giants running backs coach. Also, quick fun fact for you. Um, I didn't catch on this last night on our live stream, but... The Giants also signed former Bills quarterback Davis Webb to a future reserves deal. He signed the signing bonus as well, and Davis Webb was obviously drafted in the third round by the Giants back in 2017. It was rumored that Davis Webb was going to transition to be the assistant quarterbacks coach in Buffalo. That was very interesting. They're signing him as, you know, to be a quarterback, not a coach uh, here with the Giants. So, It'll be interesting to see if Webb sort of makes a transition at some point. I'm not so sure what's going to happen. Obviously, Shea Tierney is now the quarterback's coach for the Giants, but this video was more talking about briefly in DeAndre Smith and what he brings to the table. If you like what you watch, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Scrolling across our ticker, like this video, give us a thumbs up. What do you think about DeAndre Smith? Do you think this was a good hire? Do you think the Giants should have went after somebody else? And how do you think this hire will impact Saquon Barkley and year number five? Thank you all very much for watching this video, and I will talk to you all later. Without further ado, let's go Big Blue.